Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if your webcam keeps turning on and off again on your Windows computer. So I imagine this could definitely be a frustrating issue. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. We're going to start by opening up the start menu, type in device manager. Best result, should go back with device manager here. So go ahead and left click on that. You want to expand the Universal Serial Bus Controller section here at the bottom and double click on every item listed in here underneath the Universal Serial Bus Controllers. Try and locate a Power Management tab. If you don't see one, just skip it and go to the next one. So once you find one that has Power Management, go ahead and uncheck the option where it says allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Then select OK. Again, go down the list here, and anyone that has that option, you want to go ahead and just uncheck that. And then select OK. And once that's done, restart your computer. See if that has resolved the problem. Something else you can try here, too, would be to open up the Start menu. Type in Camera. Best result, should go back with Camera. On the right panel here, go ahead and select App Settings. You want to scroll down and where it says reset if this app isn't working right reset it the apps data will be deleted so before you do anything make sure you create a backup of your stuff I mean if you have a folder somewhere on your computer make sure you've saved it as a backup somewhere um, you should do that just as good practice anyway but just want to put that out there when you clear the app just want to make sure you have it saved somewhere and this will permanently delete the apps data on this device including your preferences and sign in details go ahead and select reset And now once that's done, go ahead and close out of here, restart your computer, and then hopefully that should have been about it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.